Three then says, given that the probability that he, he succeeds at either his first or second or third attempt is 197 over 200, find P. So this is kind of a backwards question. Um, they've given us the answer that he succeeds on either his first, second or third try so that we can then calculate what this p-value is. So we're going to use the same strategy for uh, the, the question in part two. We already know that he either, if he, we already know the probability that he f succeeds on his first or second attempt is 19 over 20. So if we then add the probability that he succeeds on his third attempt so that he fails on his first and second but passes on his third attempt, we know that the answer to this fraction needs to be 197 over 200. So this is already him succeeding on his first or second attempt. This is him succeeding on his third attempt, and they have to add up to 197 over 200. So if we rearrange this equation or, or simplify this equation, So that's going to be p over 20. That needs to equal 197 over 200. There's loads of different ways to simplify this equation down. I'm going to times everything on the left-hand side, top and bottom, by 10, so that everything's out of 200. Because then we can times everything by 200 and get rid of those denominators. So I can now say that 190 plus 10p needs to equal 197. If I take off 190, that means that 10p needs to equal 7, and therefore p is equal to 7 over 10.